Hemi thoughts. Hemi thoughts. Hemi thoughts. Hemi 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 thoughts. Hello, everyone, and this is the first episode of this podcast called Hemi Thoughts. I'm stop eating the apple, Edward. Oh my goodness, uh, my guest here is eating an apple. Hi. And it's stop making those chewing sounds. Some people get incredibly annoyed by chewing sounds. All right. So today we will be talking about various things like my favorite smells, um, the life experiences of my guest, Edward Kim, and other little surprises. And <laughs> you'll see. You'll hear about them later. All right. So first, I want to tell you guys about my favorite smells. Edward, can you please <laughs> stop eating an apple right now? Or chew quietly. Okay. So anyway. I went to the Renaissance Center, or the Rensen, in Detroit last night, and I remembered my favorite smell. One of my favorite smells. Edward, eating it slowly is not helping. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, one of my favorite smells is the smell of fountain water in hotels. It just brings me back to luxury and just the flowing of water. And Edward, can you... Stop. Stop. Okay? He's nodding right now. Anyway. The fountain smell is very dear to my heart because... <laughs> I'm, cool, I'm cool like it. Are you... <laughs> You're just having it in your mouth. Oh, yeah, I have a favorite apple in my mouth. I can't eat because... You're oh, you chew it so quickly. <laughs> I don't want you to put another piece of apple in. <laughs> just finish chewing this one. I'm done. Okay, sorry. Okay. You know what? You guys don't want to hear about my favorite smells. It's already been ruined by this chewing person. Get off your phone, Edward. By this chewing person. Okay, let's just move on to our guest, Edward Kim, the esteemed... Um, colleague of Hemi, uh, the producer and star of Hemi Thoughts, also intern of Hemi Corporations. Anyway, so, Edward, what's been your favorite part of summer? Definitely, um, it's been our vacation to Hawaii. It's been my best memory. Um, I've done a lot of things, made out with a lot of girls. Okay, uh, it's not true at all. Disclaimer, Edward is a habitual liar. I do not lie. That's exactly what a habitual liar would say? On a talk show. I am very honest. Um, so, I, I, just had a, I just met a lot of people there. Um... Mostly people that, 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 that's my mom, dad, and sister. Um, yeah, it's just been really awesome. It's a very amazing place to go. The breeze just never ends. And like, so the hotels we went to were so nice. So it's such a good time. Um, <laughs> okay, so how do you feel now that you're home? Uh, it, feels, it feels nice to be back, just to see some people that I've missed, but... Um, Who'd you miss the most? You know, if you're going to eat an apple, I'm going to eat an apple. Um, I miss um, my two best friends. Bethany and Lily, they're definitely, like, I got contact with them through Hawaii and I sent them all these pictures and stuff, but it was nice. Um, first day we got back, I actually went to uh, Starbucks with them and just, like, sort of caught up. Yeah. We're going to cut this podcast short because it's a test podcast. Okay, okay. That wasn't the real podcast? I mean, I wasn't. Uh, Hemi thoughts. Hemi, 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 Hemi thoughts. This is Hemi on Hemi Thoughts, and today is the first episode of Hemi Thoughts. This podcast, Edward, can you please stop eating your apples so loud? All right, okay, I'm making a podcast right now. Anyway, today is the first episode, and I have my special guest here, my colleague and intern of Hemi Corporations, Edward Kim. Uh, side note, he's also my brother, but irrelevant at this moment. Okay, so since this is the first, <laughs> you just dropped an apple on my leg. Oh my god! Wait, did you do that on purpose? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so, the introduction of this podcast will consist of my life story, my opinions on several things that I've not thought of yet, um, an interview with my intern, Edward, and that's basically going to be it. Okay, that will fill up our podcast for today. So, first things first, my life story. Well, a long time ago, when I was a mere baby, I was I was getting to that part. Edward. You're not done at that part yet, okay? You're only at the interview part. Don't worry. I will get there. So... When I was a baby, I was born 18 years ago. I'm currently 18. And when I was born, um, my dad, he didn't believe it when they said I was a girl. They thought they thought they were he thought they were joking. And when I heard that story, Edward, can you just eat it like quickly? Yeah, okay. So when I heard that story, I thought, huh, he must have really wanted a boy. But look at me now. I am going to college. I have a fabulous life, and I have this new podcast. Get off your phone, Edward. And after that, it's been smooth sailing. School has been fine. Uh, I think I have friends, and I think everything's going to go smoothly. However, there is this one thing that has come up a lot. 
things make me angry and I can't help it because that's just how it is. One of my biggest pet peeves, when people cut in the lunch line. I can talk hours on this. I can literally talk on and on about how I feel when people cut the lunch line. But I won't. I won't talk for hours and hours. I'll only give you a minute or so of my ranting on this this phenomenon that, that needs to stop. This is injustice. Yes, Edward, side note. Um, while I was at a registration, I think there were some people that cut in line while for pictures, and, I, and then it took me a really long time to get my picture taken because there were people cutting in line. So it doesn't just affect my sister. It affects everyone else around us. It's a nation... No, international. No. Well, yes, international problem yes worldwide problem people cutting in line because it's my mic okay because it's not only like when they cut in line you have to wait longer but it's a sense of entitlement why do you think that you're better than everyone else that you can just cut in front i mean it's worse than worldwide hunger that's kind of an exaggeration but there is a hunger for a few more minutes than i should be hungry because these people are cutting in line and it's not right it's not fair. This is America. Where is the justice? Where is the freedom to go in line and expect it to go like a line? As in one person queues up behind another, and then that's the order of how it's going to be. Better just eat the apple. It's okay. Why do you want them to hear? The point is here, pet peeves is something that I've struggled with because it just annoys me so much. I mean, that is the definition of pet peeve, something that annoys me. And the biggest one by far is when people cut in line. Lunch line, I will call you out. I will call you out if I see you cutting the lunch line ahead of me. You know, if you cut in front of another person, I won't really care because it's up to them whether or not they want to confront people that cut in the lunch line. But if you cut in front of me, I will cut you. I will attack you and get a bigger person to confront you with. I will cut them. No, no, no. I, will, I would never cut in line. Like, that's, that would be hypocritical of me, and that's against my principle. I never cut in the lunch line because I know how it feels to be that lonely, s small, quiet Asian girl just, you know, innocently waiting in line for her nachos. It's nacho day at school, and I'm really hungry. And then, boom, this this guy just cuts in front of this, this innocent Asian girl, just thinking he can get away with it. But nah, uh This Asian girl, she loves nacho day. Yes, I am. And nachos are worth... Or not, like, I mean, yeah, it's only, like, a couple minutes, but it's just, like, you know, it's not fair, man. Why would you do that? Why would you? And so I confront him. I say, hey, dude, get, you're not in front of me. You cut in the line. Go to the back of the line. Well, yeah, I have to say something because this is injustice. I actually did confront people and say, boot, and say like, dude, you, you cut in line. Like, you're not in front of me. And then they're like, no, I was. I was totally in front of you. I just went to the back. I'm like, mm, nope. I was here way before you waiting for my nachos because you're so good. And I rushed here. I ran here. You know what? My thighs are a little sore. And I need these nachos, okay? I need them. And you have no right cutting in front of me, okay? Just because I'm an Asian girl, kind of small, kind of short, doesn't mean that you can, you know, just push me down. It's called injustice. This is injustice for me. Like, problems like, I don't know, the glass ceiling and racism, they're not really, I'm really far removed from those kind of problems, but my kind of injustice, my problem, my front world problem is when people cut in the lunch line. I'm sorry, it's not very serious, but that's just how it be. Go to the back of the line? Well, yes, I made him because... Well, yeah, well, no, they they didn't celebrate it, but that's not what I'm there for. I mean, I didn't ask them to back me up. I I think I got like a I think I got a hall monitor to help me. Anyway, so that's one of my biggest pet peeves. And so now we're gonna segue into an interview with my colleague Edward. So Edward, introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name is Edward Kim. I'm the brother of Grace Kim. She's got I'm a Michigan brother actually, because she's going to University of Michigan. Um. As of now, I'm a Republican, but that's that that can change because I don't really know politics. Wait, you're not a registered Republican. You have to register to be Republican. Yeah, you have to register to be affiliated with like a political party. I thought maybe I'm wrong, but you could say you're conservative. I'm a moderately conservative conservative. Um, <laughs> I'm moderately conservative. I'm a moderately conservative. Um, con I'm a moderately conservative Democrat. What? Okay, you have to register to be a Democrat. What What are Democrats known for? To be really, really open, right? I'm a moderately conservative liberal. So take that as you uh, really want. Um, well, what else do I have to say about myself? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. My, I am going to be a senior at Troy High. And my dreams and aspirations is to um, sort of have money, and like find a really good, find a really cute honey, literally, um, in the forest. But yeah, I just sort of want to live my life. I don't really want to be famous. It'd be really nice too, but I think it has its drawbacks. I want to be pretty cool when I grow up. Have lots of friends. Just, but more not like have like number friends, but just. Have really close friends that I will have. I want. I want. You know what I want my show to be like. I want my show to be Friends, um, the TV show. I want. I want it to be. I want my life to be just like that show. I think I'd be Joey because I'm a player. I'm kidding. 
So first question for my guest here. What is your greatest fear? Oh my. I guess like uh, my greatest fear is sort of failure. I, it's really hard for me to face it. Um, because when I, I get discouraged really, really easily. So if something just doesn't go the way I expect it to, or it, it goes in a way that, you know, puts, puts harm to me, but also like, not harm, but just like puts me down. But especially with like group effort, like it affects not just me, but other people, then it's, um, just, it just sucks. And I just hate it so much. That's like, that's like sort of, that's, some, that's like one of the reasons failure, it deters me from, um, doing certain activities. Like recently I did this Korean independence, uh, wrestling thing called Cheetah. And I don't know why I got put into it, but, um, Bless your soul. Um, but some guy pushed me into like dragged me into the line. I was like, what is this line? And then Wait, they, I pushed you. Yeah, you I tried to get out of the line and then you pushed me back into the line. Oh yeah. So like when it was my turn to like wrestle someone, I got out in less than two seconds, less than three okay, seconds. Five seconds. Okay, let's say five seconds. All right. And that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my summer. I want I wanted to leave really badly right after. And I did. Yes. Failure. That is legitimate and very widespread. Good answer. Very relatable. That concludes our guest interview session of... Well, we don't have that much time. I have to eat spaghetti. And that concludes our guest question interview section of Hemi Thoughts, episode one of this podcast called Hemi Thoughts. Catch you guys next time and watch out for the next podcast of Hemi Thoughts with your host, Hemi. Yeah. Wait, let me finish the apple. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, watch out for the next episode of Hemi Thoughts. Hemi, 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 Hemi Thoughts. Oh, it's gone. I did. I did like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, wait a few days. Hemi, thoughts. Ah, Hemi, Hemi, thoughts. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first podcast of Hemi Thoughts with your host, me, Hemi of Hemi Thoughts. Today, we are going to discuss the introduction of Hemi Thoughts and why I made this podcast right before going to college. I mean, I'm moving in on the 28th, and which is less than a week away. It's about a week. Oh, yeah, today's Thursday. It is, a, it is in exactly a week away, and I thought that it would be appropriate to make a podcast right now. And also, I have a special guest interview with my colleague and intern, Edward Kim. Uh, <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm Edward. And he's snacking on some, some apples right now. Some manzanas. If you know some Spanish or manzanas. Edward, stop. Sorry. Stop. Stop. Okay. So in this episode of Hemi Thoughts, I will tell you what is the purpose of this podcast. It's not even a real podcast. It's just a video of voices that you hear. What's up? The purpose of Hemi Thoughts is something that came up maybe a week ago. I thought, huh. Well, Gardening with Grace has been a smashing success. What else can I do? Something new, something fresh, something that most people don't get to hear from me. Of course, people get to see how I do my gardening. They get to see my yard. Edward, do you have to eat the apple so loud? No. You, don't, you can nibble it, maybe. And you guys get to watch Gardening with Grace. What? What? Okay, that was, that was my mom. And... I wanted to bring something new to the table, something, something better, something more personal, like I'm talking to you guys. And if you do follow my Tumblr occasionally, I do write about my feelings, sometimes about my observations, other times about my random thoughts, also called observations. But there are times when I need to just vent, when, they just, when I just need to tell people something, when people just need to hear what I have to say. And so this podcast is the first episode of a, of a series of Hemi Thoughts, Thoughts of Hemi. My name is Hemi, by the way. Yes, Edward? You have a question? Um, no, I just put my hand out in the air to let it dry because it's covered in apple juice. Okay. To explain, um, I believe that... Wait, Edward, where are you going? Go to the bathroom to wash the apple juice off. Okay. And so, introduction, I'm going to college. In this podcast, you will see the evolution of Hemi and Hemi Thoughts because you can watch slash listen to this episode and compare with the podcast in a few weeks and let's see what happens let's see what this experiment what the huh?